So I will demonstrate how to use uh, Excel sheet for data cleaning. Let me first share the screen. So here we have a file. Yeah, this is the CSV file. I'll just open it. <clears throat> I'll save this in uh, Excel format to do data cleaning. Save as, save as in Excel format. Excel. Save it. Yeah. Now I'll make one more spreadsheet of the same sheet. For data cleaning, I don't want to disturb the original file. So, move, create a copy. So, this is the spreadsheet. I'll just give a random name uh, data for SPSS. Here, I will create uh, one more row or I will insert a row for variable name. Insert uh, row has been created. Key variable name WTP treatment P control H wait two rows so I'll just delete them right now I want to clean the data so there could be some entries in the wrong format or wrong entries there could be some typos right or there could be some extreme values extremely extreme value I mean so those entries I want to detect and I want to either delete them or correct them right so what I'll do there's a good trick for that. Uh, just select the top row and go to data option and filter. Right. So what you do is you filter the data and you short the data in uh, small to large. Right. Just do that. You'll find that uh, uh, all the rows have been shorted in in uh, ascending order. Right. So you go at the bottom. You have this. This you don't want. Right? Just delete it. Right. you'll find that there are some entries here also and this has happened because there was one row which was blank right so this we do not want this blank we what we have to do is just delete this blank row delete it delete it right. now perform this shorting once again yeah so you have the entire data has been Shorter, yeah. This also we don't want. I will replace it with a appropriate value the way we discussed in the class. So it will be one cell five zero. The same way we'll do it for this row as well, this column as well. So yeah, we don't want it in this format. We'll replace it with appropriate value. So this two row, these two columns have been now cleaned. We'll go for age. Maybe some people have entered age wrongly. Right? But again, we'll do the same thing small to large. Uh, right? So here you have the age, small value is fine, the large value. So we don't want it this form. So we'll just delete these two entries. Here we had age. Right? Next, next column, what we have is gender. So here there's no issue because uh, data entry was, I mean, you don't have to type anything in for this question but you just have options we'll see for weight if there's some in, improper value small to large what is fine extreme value one zero one this is also fine let's check for height small to yeah so see here so some people has put 5.11 so i think most likely they wanted to write it five feet 11 inches they didn't convert it to centimeter right so just we'll convert it into centimeter 
so i'll take help from google to go to google and here you have i'll just i'll just uh, write convert yeah so yeah so this this is a website from which we can convert it five feet nine inches yeah five feet nine inches is 175 centimeter it's five feet nine inches is 175 centimeter and then five foot eleven inches five foot eleven inches is one eighty centimeter five foot five inches five foot five inches about one sixty five so it's so five so let's check if there are other problems uh, exchange values somebody has put 500 i don't know why so this is an issue we can delete it for now that's better because this is an inappropriate entry so let's delete it we'll just leave it controls usually they can't, can't be an issue yeah there could be some issue with cat i mean in these questions uh, you don't have to type anything you just have to select an option right? cat short it so small is fine large large you have triple eight so this can't be a percentile most likely you want so the respondent wanted to enter 88.8 .8. so just replace it with the appropriate value of that is fine so here we have state in state uh, see here we want the entries a uh, single word entry we want and we want a same kind of entry for one state i mean if odisha is written o d i s h a it should be the same way it shouldn't be any other uh, any other kind of uh, any other kind of name like o r i and that we don't want okay, so just for that also the filter option will help we'll just click here and you can see that Andhra and Andhra Pradesh, two ways people have written, right? So we'll select these two. And here you have entries, and also we don't want uh, a space in between, right? We want one single word. Otherwise, you'll have issue. I mean, if you enter this way, you'll have some issue. You can check in SPSS, right? I mean, it will be entered in two different columns. So that we don't want that. So we don't. We want a single word without any spacing. So Andhra Pradesh, and we'll copy it in all other entries all other cases so what for that what we what you can do is just just click here uh, click here left click and drag it right all the entries have been corrected now same way you will have to do for other issues so here you have imagine Pradesh. this is also not you, you don't want space in between let's check for the Madhya Pradesh. Here also we don't want space in between. Just hold it and replace all the values. Let's check, check for the thing. Here also there's some issue. The spelling is different, you can see L A and L E. So we want to maintain consistency. So this is fine, just try it. All the entries have been corrected now. Yeah, someone has entered Varanasi, so this is wrong. But they should be a state, not the city. So we'll replace it, there's no harm. Varanasi is in Uttar Pradesh. Let's replace it. Same way. And the region Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh. I think there's no more issue. That's it. So 
the data has been cleaned now, right? So yeah, fine. So now the data has been cleaned. Uh, the next job is to save this uh, spreadsheet into uh, in CSV format, right? So for that, we'll uh, disable this uh, filter option, right? So this is the data and ready for uh, ready to be entered in uh, CSV. I mean, to in SPSS software, right? So we'll just save this file first of all. Yeah. File save option. And this sheet we want to save in a, in a separate file in CSV format. So for that again, uh, we'll, I will shift this spreadsheet, I'll copy and move it to a different file. Right for that, right click, move a copy, create a copy, new book. So this is a new file. I'll save it in uh, CSV format. So I'll go for C, or save, right? I'll browse in my desired location. So go here, text or Excel practice. I'll use some name, Nike. And yeah, and this is important. Select a CSV extension, file extension name, CSV, CSV Nike brand, and save it. So this will come okay fine no issue so now your data is now ready uh, to be uploaded in spss let, let me show you where it has been saved so go to go to desktop excel practice right so here here you have your data ready ready now that's all that's all thank you